my name's Robert Whitcomb. I farm here near the village of West Liss at Berry Grove Farm. We're members of the Selborne Landscape Partnership. The farm is about 275 acres. We produce beef and sheep. We breed pedigree Aberdeen Angus and pedigree Border Leicester sheep. The reason for that is we wanted to specialise in pedigree breeding stock so that we could sell higher value animals to other farmers. So we're not particularly producing beef and lamb. It's the first stage in the process where we produce the breeding stock for farmers to produce beef and lamb. So we have the benefit of one or two fields which we can cultivate and reseed. We have hay from the meadows where we can cut very late in the season. After all, the birds have nested and the flowers have flowered. One of the reasons that livestock contribute so much to an environment like this is that they're part of the ecosystem, if you like. They attract a lot of insects, their manure attracts a lot of insects. Those insects provide food for the next level of the food chain, that's to say birds, uh, butterflies, and then other invertebrates, all the way up. So they provide a lot of assistance to diversity on the farm. The hedgerows are very, perhaps overgrown a lot of them. There are big oak trees along the boundaries, there are ditches, there are banks. Many of these are several hundred years old and we haven't interfered with them so those provide a, a sanctuary for wildlife. We hope that having developed a type of farm animal that is in demand nationally we will be able to keep going with a profitable farming system because only with a profitable farming system can we afford to do the extra things to improve biodiversity. Because what we would like to do is to plant extra bits of woodland. We've done a little bit, but we'd like to plant a little bit more. We'd like to restore our ponds. We do have rights of way through the farm so people can enjoy seeing a lot of this biodiversity. But we do need to be profitable in the first place. We're slightly less vulnerable to the vagaries of cost which are affecting other farming sectors. But we are very vulnerable to weather vagaries, changes which we notice um, are more extreme. Again, nature is very resilient and sort of bounces back. So I think we all have to learn to be resilient. Farmers are. <laughs> <laughs>